Hey everyone, look what just showed up. The new Losi Pro Moto dirt bike in one quarter scale. This is a brand new product from Losi. Uh, similar to the old Duratrax one that was out a few years ago. This has some great new features and we're gonna take a look at it now. So, uh, yeah, brand new uh, dirt bike from uh, Losi. So this one is a little bit different than the ones in the past. Uh, electronic gyro in this one is actually in the frame. So usually they put the uh, gyro in the rear wheel or the front wheel. Uh, it used to be a mechanical uh, gyro that just spun as the wheel turned. Then it became a brushless motor driven gyro. This one is also a brushless motor uh, gyro, but it's actually in the frame of the bike. Let's see. Another unique feature on this one, the last bike character was uh, polycarbonate, so it's super lightweight. This one's actually a doll, so uh, he has fabric clothing on him, which means that you could actually change the clothing on this guy if you wanted to dress your bike up to look like one of your uh, favorite uh, motocross heroes. There you go, you can see the size, that's insane. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, have a chance to run this thing out in the parking lot and uh, on the track in the next uh, few days. We'll do a few more videos showing in depth what the parts look like and uh, how it runs. So stay tuned for those videos, thanks. This is the bike at 50%. Rear we uh, tried driving the bike at 100%, but um, when you pull the trigger, it just constantly pops wheelies. Um, I found it to be a lot less fun to drive. Um, at the lowest setting, which I believe is 25%, um, the bike barely moves. So uh, recommendation would be run it at 50% most of the time. 100% maybe if you're gonna do like some sort of like speed runs down a, a path or something to show off, but the way it is now, um, in the grass, it'll pop wheelies every time on 50%. On the sandy stuff like this baseball diamond, you can see it just lifts the front wheel a tiny bit, um, but it's still very controllable. Um, counter steers through the corners. You can see it does lots of uh, rooster tails in the, in the sand come up here close and do a nice little rooster tail there we go um, the bike really stands up when you throttle it up though so um, there is a tremendous amount of understeer on power so you definitely have to let off the throttle um, as you corner and as soon as you get it slow enough you can see it dips right over turns nice and sharp if you want to go slow this is how slow you can get it going uh, whoop, just a, about a jogging pace so not bad and it's quite controllable at this speed and you can learn to maneuver it around. On the uh, sand, it slides around so it's not as good. In the grass, at this speed, it's very controllable and um, easy to learn. Okay guys, so here we are back in the dungeon. Uh, we've run the uh, Losi Pro Moto now out in the uh, baseball diamond and around the grass a little bit. Worked really well. And you can just uh, have it sitting here next to the Duratrax bike. You can see it definitely is a little bit bigger than the Duratrax bike. And uh, performance-wise, you know, um, I haven't run my Duratrax for a little while. It felt similar. The, uh, the Duratrax bike was a lot of fun when I uh, used to run it all the time. And I'm going to run it again. I exploded one of the sprockets recently, so I have to uh, change that. But, uh, yeah, I uh, really like the Pro Moto. Had some great features. The uh, front mechanical uh, disc brake is really awesome. Uh, makes the bike a lot of fun to drive and uh, makes it so it dives into the corners a little harder than uh, the uh, Duratrax bike, which does not have a front brake and relies strictly on uh, electronic braking from the speed controller to slow it down. 
the uh, gyro in the chassis compared to the gyro in the wheel was interesting. Uh, really stable. Um, I've actually stopped the Duratrax bike um, completely and then um, had it sit uh, straight up and down for you know half a second or a second. I don't, it's hard to say when you're driving. But uh, you know, had it stop and then be able to go again. Was not quite able to do that with the Pro Moto. Uh, when I stopped, it did fall over. However, it picked itself back up really easy. These um, bars on the side definitely uh, do a great job. Really impressed with those. And uh, I thought that uh, they would get bent and damaged from running it, but they survived really well. The um, old style with the ring and uh, little collars to, to drag on the ground. They, um, they work, but uh, this new system definitely is very cool. The um, only downside maybe to this bike, the battery setup. So you can see here the um, IC connector in the frame. And uh, you, I mean, you're stuck with that connector there. There's really not much you can do. You could build a little adapter to go to, you know, your favorite plug, Dean's or um, those junky XT's that come from China, whatever it is you use. But um, the spot for the battery right here, very specific. It, uh, it takes a full size 7.4 uh, LiPo, but a standard LiPo has two cables on it. You can see here that uh, the Spectrum battery has only one cable, there's no uh, balance lead. So on the bike, there really isn't room to coil up a balance lead. And um, there's not really a spot where you can tuck it up underneath. So maybe if you ran a LiPo that was a short style, but still with a connector, you could use a, a shorty, wrap up the balance lead inside the battery box. Uh, hard to say, you know, it's something to figure out. These batteries are really good quality, but um, they do require, obviously, the Spectrum charger to charge them properly. And that kind of bugs me. I, I hate being locked into a specific brand like that. Uh, the radio on this one worked really well. It is a Spectrum radio. It has to be a Spectrum radio. It has a uh, remote adjustment for the gain on the gyro, so the sensitivity of the gyro, um, which increases and decreases the stability of the bike has a remote adjustment for the front brake, which is kind of cool. So you can increase and decrease your front brake. So I thought that was a really nice feature. Um, a lot of people, you know, they say they don't like the Spectrum radios. They work well for what they are. If you ran a different brand of radio, you may not have some of the adjustments that you really want. I'm not sure exactly how much stability was built into the receiver. Uh, on this particular one. It does use a receiver that's labeled as a pro motor receiver. So it may have their proprietary um, AS3X system in it. Um, that I don't know, I haven't taken it apart and had a look at one of the receivers and played with them separately to see. Uh, that means that if you did decide to change the radio and put like a Futaba or a Sanwa or something in it, you might lose some of those stability features. Again, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know for sure. Um, some of the features on this have worked out really well. This uh, flip up fender, kind of cool. It uh, saves you from breaking the, the fender off. Uh, older bikes had you know, polycarbonate fenders, but my old Duratrax has a steel bar underneath to help protect it, which um, was a light, you know, nice little uh, add-on for this bike. I don't, think, um, I don't think it had that originally. I don't recall, it's been so long since I've, I've worked on this bike. The other thing, of course, that was really nice on the Pro Moto was the driver figure with his actual fabric outfit. Um, very realistic, looks awesome. You know, our older guys, like our Duratrax, had the polycarbonate body. So, all in all, a fantastic machine. Definitely worth checking out if you're into uh, motorcycles, uh, RC motorcycles, real motorcycles, whatever. Uh, definitely, it's an awesome toy. A lot of fun, speed was great. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to uh, spending a lot more time running this around the yard and maybe getting it out on some of the bigger uh, eight scale tracks. Thanks again for watching everybody and we look forward to seeing you at the shop. Have a good day.